I'm Casey, an educator at the North Carolina Aquarium at Fort Fisher. Today we are talking about frogs. Now frogs are amphibians and they are really important animals. Today we're going to find out how you can be a friend to frogs. Be a friend to frogs by Laura Bat and Mackenzie Mather. There are thousands of kinds of frogs. They all live in or near fresh water. You can find frogs in ponds, swamps, forests, fields, and deserts. Some probably live in your neighborhood. Frogs are amphibians. Most frogs begin their life in the water, but as adults, they can live in the water and on land. You might see frogs hopping from the grass into a stream. Some frogs are very good at camouflage or blending in with what is around them. This helps them hide from other animals. Frogs can look like leaves, bark, or even bird poop. Other frogs do not blend in at all. This is often because they are poisonous. Their bright colors tell other animals, stay away, I taste terrible. You might hear your frog neighbors outside your home or at the park. Some frogs make high sounds like chirp or peep. Other frogs make loud, low sounds like jug rum Sometimes people are not friends to frogs. Throwing trash on the ground or in the water hurts frogs. Frogs can breathe through their skin so dirty water can make them sick. Frogs lose their homes when people cut down trees or destroy wetlands. When frogs try to find new places to live or lay eggs, they sometimes have to cross busy streets. How can you be a friend of frogs? Slow down if a frog is trying to cross the street. Be sure to put trash where it belongs. Help clean up ponds, rivers, and parks near where you live. Frogs are fantastic animals. You can do your part to take care of your frog neighbors. Tell your family and friends to help protect frogs too. Every little bit helps. That was such a great story about frogs. They, along with other toads and amphibians, are such important animals because they are known as an indicator species and they indicate whether a habitat is healthy or not. So if you hear a lot of frogs and toads around your neighborhood, that means you have very healthy habitat. Now that you know how to be a friend to frogs, let us know what you're going to do to help them out in the comments below. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you back soon.